Здравствуйте! Меня зовут Вера Алексеевна Полякова Норвуд. Добро пожаловать на урок русского языка. Добро пожаловать! So, what are we going to talk about today? We shall start with numbers. It is really high time that we looked at some of the numbers. And uh, well, we shall begin with the easiest numbers. Один, два, три, четыре, пять. Now, one, two, three, four, five. Just listen to how I say these numbers in Russian. Один, два, три, четыре, пять. Now repeat after me, please. Один, два, три, четыре, пять. Now let's go just a little bit faster. Okay, is everybody ready? Один, два, три, четыре, пять. Well, let's take a look at these words. Один, два, три, четыре, пять. And now I want you to read these words in your classrooms. Хорошо. So, how do we count from one to five? Один, два, три, четыре, пять. Okay, can you tell me how many of these pins I have? Три. Один, два, три. Один, два, три, четыре, пять. Хорошо, but this is so easy, so let's uh, go up to ten. After пять comes шесть, семь, восемь, девять, десять. Now listen one more time. Шесть, семь, восемь, девять. Хорошо, and you probably want to look at these words, right? Шесть, семь, восемь, девять, десять. Хорошо. Шесть, семь, восемь, девять, десять. And now let's count from one to ten. Please repeat the words after me. Один, два, три, четыре, пять. Шесть, семь, восемь, девять, десять. Ну, хорошо, хорошо. Now let's start counting objects, okay? Besides those pens, I have pencils. So let's see how many we have here. Итак, один, два, Три, четыре, пять, шесть, шесть, один, два, три, четыре, пять, шесть. Now I want you to count with me. I want you to keep up with me. So. Let's count these pins. It looks like I have a bunch of them. 
So let's count them. I'll put them on the desk here. And uh, один, два, три, четыре, пять, пять, так, шесть, хорошо, семь, and I do have more, восемь, девять, and there's one more, десять, десять. So we used all our numbers from one to ten. Один, два, три, четыре, пять, шесть, семь, восемь, девять, десять, десять. Хорошо, хорошо. Today I have this wonderful little Russian nesting doll, Matryoshka, Matryoshka. That's the Russian name for this little doll, for this little toy, Matryoshka. The interesting thing about a Matryoshka that it always has pieces hidden inside. So let's see how many pieces we can find inside this matryoshka. Итак, we know we have this one. Один. Один. We are opening it again. And now we have два. Два. Again, we can open this part and we find something else inside. How many do we have now? Один. Два, три, три. But that's not all. Okay. Четыре. And uh, there's this tiny little one. Пять. Один, два, три, четыре, пять. Один, два, три, четыре, пять. Хорошо. And uh, there are more Russian things for us to count. Let's look at this. This lovely Russian spoons are very popular. Those are very popular souvenir items. Notice how colorful, how richly decorated they are. So let's see how many we have here. Okay. Итак, let's begin. Один. Два, три, четыре, пять, шесть, I'm adding one more, семь, and one more, восемь. Восемь. Хорошо. Хорошо. So, one more time. Let's go from one to ten. Один, два, три, четыре. Next one. Пять, шесть, семь. One more. Восемь. Next one. Девять. Десять. Десять. Ну, хорошо. Хорошо. So, today we learn to count from one to ten. Один, два, три, четыре, пять, шесть, семь, восемь, девять, десять. Десять. Хорошо. So, keep practicing with that. Count everything and everybody around you. And you know you can go up to 10, up to 10. No, хорошо. Хорошо. So that was a good little thing at the beginning of class, but now let's get serious. 
Today, we will begin the study of unit number three in your textbook. Urok number three. Lesson number three. Urok number three. And we will be talking a lot about city places. We will also discuss occupations and workplaces. We will talk about where people live, where people do, where people work. So lots of interesting things that we will learn with you from Urok number three. But today we shall start working on city places. When we were learning the Russian alphabet, we learned a lot of things, a lot of words that identify different places that we can find within a city. And uh, we need to begin with a little bit of review. We will go over the words that we already know. Well, certainly you remember this word, dom, dom. One of the easiest words in the Russian language, dom. A house, a building, an apartment complex. It is still dom because it's someone's home, right? You remember that in the Russian language, house and home is the same word, dom. Хорошо. Let's look at this. Park. Park. A city is not a city without at least one park. Yes, and let's look at this word. Do you remember it? Школа. 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 А как по-английски школа? School. School. Школа. Notice that there is some similarity between the Russian word школа and the English word school. Школа. Школа. We also learned this longer word. Университет. Университет. А как по-английски? Университет. University. Notice how similar the, these words are in our languages. Университет. University. But say this in Russian. Университет. Университет. Хорошо. But you can also study at институт. Институт. This is a Russian word for college. Also an institution of higher learning. Институт. That's easy to say. Институт. Хорошо. Also, in any city, we can find this. Театр. 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 Хорошо. And if you'd like to see a movie, where do you go? Кинотеатр. Кинотеатр. Movie theater. But this is one word in Russian. Кинотеатр. Кинотеатр. Хорошо. Another interesting and exciting place is this. Цирк. Цирк. По-английски circus. Цирк. Цирк. Remember to roll your R's. Цирк. Хорошо. And uh, one more word that we learned with you during the study of the alphabet. Read it. Почта. Почта. Как это по-английски? A post office. Почта. Почта. Хорошо. Хорошо. And do you remember how to write all these words in cursive? Well, we need to take a very quick look at this. So, let us start with школа. Школа. We begin with the letter Sha. Школа. Or after школа, you can study at an institute. 
институт. О, университет. У ми вер си тет. Yes, this is a long word. Университет. Университет. Okay. Then you remember that to see a movie, we go to a кинотеатр. And you know, кинотеатр is one word. Кино, movie, театр, theater. Кинотеатр. A movie theater. And I know that you like going to this place. Цирк. Цирк. That's a big entertainment in Russia. Цирк. Ну, хорошо. Хорошо. Well, those were the words that we learned, well, maybe several months ago when we were studying the Russian alphabet. But today, we are going to take a look at another group of words. So you will be able to identify more places within a city. And let's begin with this. So where do we go when we need to buy things? We go to a magazine. 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 Now this is an easy word, but it's a tricky one. Because magazine is not a magazine. It's not what we read. It's where we go when we need to buy things. A store. Magazine. Magazine. Хорошо. And now let's look at an easier word. I say it's an easier word because it's a cognate. Musei. So what does it mean? A museum. Музей. Музей. Это музей. Хорошо. And uh, where do we go to pick up an interesting book? Библиотека. Библиотека. Now, this is an interesting word of a Greek origin. And what does it mean? Library. Библиотека. Библиотека. And say it one more time. Библиотека. Please always repeat the new words after me because you need to receive this practice. Библиотека. Хорошо. Хорошо. The next word for us is завод. Завод. An industrial plant. Завод. Завод. Завод is associated with heavy industry. But what is the word for a light industry plant? Fabrica. A factory. Fabrica. Это фабрика. And let's say it one more word, one more time. Фабрика. Да, это фабрика. Это фабрика. Хорошо. А это гараж. Гараж. And do I need to translate this for you? No, I don't. You know what it means. Гараж. Гараж. And uh, now let's look at this word. Больница. Больница. Больница по-английски a hospital. Больница. So this is not a cognate. This is a specifically Russian word. So you need to exercise your memory again. And remember this, больница, a hospital. And one more time, say it after me, больница, 
больница. Это больница. Хорошо. Now again, it's time for us to practice our cursive writing. So let's begin with magazine, a store, magazine. And uh, this is how we write it down. Magazine. And remember that magazine is not a magazine. It's a store. It's a place where we go to buy things. Magazine. Now the next one is musei. Musei. Museum. Musei. And now let's work on this long word. Bib li a Bibliotheca. And you know that this word, this root, biblio, means book. That's a Greek root. Bibliotheca. It's a word of the Greek origin in the Russian language. Bibliotheca, a library. Then we talked about zavod. Zavod, a heavy industry plant. And we also talked about fabrica. Fabrica. This can be a textile factory or any kind of a light industry factory. Fabrica. Zavod. Fabrica. We also learned the word garage. Garage. And uh, if you are seriously ill, then you might be admitted to a balnitsa. 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 Notice the soft sign here. Balnitsa. So the new city places are magazine, музей, библиотека, завод, фабрика, гараж, больница. Больница. Ну, хорошо. And how do we get around in a city? Well, in a large Russian city, you can use public transportation. What do we know about public transportation? Look at these pictures and tell me, что это? Это метро. Это метро. The best and the fastest way to get around. Что это? Это автобус. Автобус. Что это? Это такси. Такси. Really works well when you are in a hurry. And uh, что это? Это машина. Это машина. Ну, хорошо. Хорошо. So, we know a little bit about city places. We know all those action verbs. Remember the verbs that we worked on so hard? Гулять, работать, отдыхать, читать, слушать. So, what do we do where? Let's look at these pictures. Итак, это парк. Да? Они гуляют. Хорошо. Что это? Это завод. Они работают. Что это? Это библиотека. Они читают. Да? Что это? Это фабрика. Они работают. Так. Что это? Это больница. And these doctors are working. Они работают. А кто это? Это 
семья. Они дома. Что они делают? Они отдыхают. Они читают. Ну, хорошо. Хорошо. So now you can identify city places and also tell me what the people are doing in those places. Хорошо. Let's practice a little bit more. So just this time, just tell me, что это? Итак, что это? Это почта. Что это? Это цирк. Что это? Это кинотеатр. А это? Это музей. Что это? Это магазин. Что это? Это гараж. Что это? Это университет. Университет. А что это? Да, да, да. Это школа. Это школа. Хорошо. Хорошо. Um, and now at the end of today's lesson, I would like to mention three cities that your textbook very often talks about. Well, of course, a lot of stories that the textbook tells us are set in the city of Moskva. Moskva. And you know everything about Moskva. You know it's the capital of Russia. Moskva. Also, sometimes the textbook mentions Sankt Petersburg. Sankt Petersburg. And I think that Sankt Petersburg is the most beautiful city in Russia. And I think so because, yes, I am from St. Petersburg and I am really very proud of it. Sankt Petersburg, just the loveliest place, the loveliest city. And another city that the textbook very often mentions is Novosibirsk. Novosibirsk. Novosibirsk is a very large uh, town, a very large city located in southern Siberia. It's a big industrial and uh, cultural center. So pull out a map and find the city of Novosibirsk there. You will have to go to Siberia and in its southern part you will be able to locate Novosibirsk. And that's a large place, so you will easily find it on the map. That will be a good exercise for you to do. So find Moskva, Sankt Petersburg, and Novosibirsk on the map. Хорошо. Now, right after this class, right after watching this lesson, I want you to do your additional exercises so you will practice with all the material that we learned during this lesson. Also, your homework is, it comes from your workbook. In your workbooks, find lesson 2, page 45, and work on sentences 39 through 48. Memorize the names of different city places and practice with numbers, practice counting from 1 to 10. Ну, хорошо, хорошо. Большое спасибо и до свидания.